two new recent research studies into the viability, cost, and benefits of replacing lithium and cobalt in lithium ion batteries have shown that not only is it possible and logical, easier than we thought, and this technology actually could change the entire battery industry worldwide. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. You're watching the YouTube channel that makes more videos about electric cars and batteries than any other channel. Thank you for subscribing. Great to have all the new subscribers here on board. Welcome to all of your new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. I hope you had an amazing 2021. 2022, it is going to be an absolutely sensational year. I can assure you of that fact. Now, Let's quickly discuss these two different research papers and just how they are going to change the battery industry. Now, I recently made a video about how sodium batteries will transfer, about how sodium batteries will enable incredibly low cost energy storage. CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, has already essentially solved this challenge and they are currently working to scale up production of sodium batteries, which will decrease cost of energy storage by 30% versus lithium iron phosphate, which is already extremely cheap in comparison to NCA or NCM lithium ternary batteries. Now, the next step is stable sodium battery technology. Now, scientists have developed stable sodium battery technology where the sodium metal anode can resist dendrite formation. Now, this article was originally published by the National Science Foundation. It says replacing lithium and cobalt and lithium batteries in lithium ion batteries would result in a more environmentally and socially conscious technology. Now, toward that end, University of Texas Austin researchers, funded in part by the US National Science Foundation, or the government, have developed a sodium-based battery material that is stable, can recharge as fast as a traditional lithium-ion battery, and it has the potential for a higher energy output than current lithium-ion battery technologies. Now, this is the insane part, right? We all thought, yeah, sodium batteries are great, low cost, great, but the energy density is low. Now, clearly here, they've discovered, no, actually, the energy density can be even better. This is really mind-blowing news. Now, Ions in batteries travel between the negative anode and the positive cathode when generating electricity. In sodium-based batteries, anodes can develop filaments called dendrites that could cause electrical shorts and increase the chances of fire or explosion. This new sodium-based technology resists dendrite growth and recharges as fast as a lithium-ion battery. The team published the results in the Journal of Advanced Materials. The anode material is made by rolling a thin sheet of sodium metal onto antimony telluride powder and folding the sheet repeatedly resulting in a uniform distribution of sodium atoms that resist the formation of dendrites and corrosion. The process also makes the battery more stable with a charge rate similar to a lithium ion battery and potentially a higher energy capacity which is the part that truly astounds me because if we can reduce the cost by say 30% versus lithium ion phosphate batteries plus have higher energy density, this is a staggering, staggering thing to discover. Now, we're essentially solving two problems at once. Said study co-author David Mitlin, typically the faster you charge, the more of these dendrites you actually grow. So if you suppress dendrite growth, you can charge and discharge faster because all of a sudden the batteries are safe. The demand for stationary energy storage systems is insane right now. Some of the world's biggest batteries being built now dwarf last year's biggest batteries. This technology can provide a stable, sustainable, and less expensive solution to the world's energy storage needs, which are a huge part of solving the challenge of global warming, obviously, and solving the challenge of having clean renewable energy. Now, the researchers have applied for a patent on this technology. I'm not sure exactly how this technology differs from CATL, sodium ion batteries, but obviously some additional ability here that enables, a that enables these researchers to increase the energy density to a much higher rate than current sodium battery. Now, there was another study. Scientists developed a novel strategy for sustainable sodium and potassium batteries. Now, this study was contributed to Clean Technica by an anonymous guest poster. And the study says that scientists are astounded by performance of a sustainable batteries with far-reaching implications for electric vehicles and devices. And I would say energy storage as well. Now, researchers at Bristol in the UK have developed high-performance sodium and potassium ion batteries using sustainably sourced cellulose. Scientists at Bristol Composites Institute have developed a novel controllable unidirectional ice templating strategy 
which can tailor the electrochemical performances of next generation post lithium ion batteries with sustainability and large scale availability. Obviously sodium is one of the most abundant materials in the universe. Now this paper is published in the journal Advanced Functional Materials. There is a rapidly increasing demand for sustainable, ethical, and low cost energy storage, which I've already just spoken about. Now, batteries have two electrodes and a separator with what is called an electrolyte between them, which carries the charge. There is several problems associated with using lithium ion batteries, including, like we just talked about, buildup of the metal inside the devices, which can lead to short circuits. The dendrites, alternatives to lithium, such as sodium, have not historically performed as well in terms of their rate performance and the ability to use them lots of times. They have higher battery degradation than lithium ion batteries. Now, the inferior performance of sodium batteries in the past has been due to the larger sizes of sodium and potassium ions and their ability to move through the porous carbon electrodes in the batteries. Now, obviously, lithium is mined in countries such as Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. This mining is destructive, and there are poor human rights records associated with it. Now, the University of Bristol found that new carbon electrode materials based on an ice templating system called aerogels, where cellulose nanocrystals, a nano-sized form of cellulose, are formed into a porous structure using ice crystals that are grown and then sublimated can leave large channels within the structure that can carry the large sodium and potassium ions. Now, the performance of these new sodium and potassium ion batteries has been shown to outperform many other comparable systems. Now, the great thing is it actually uses a sustainable material, cellulose. Now, Steve Eichhorn, who is professor of material science at the university, said we were astounded with the performance of these new batteries. There is great potential to develop these further and to produce larger scale devices with the technology. Now, Jing Wang, lead author and PhD student at the Bristol Composites Institute, said, we proposed a novel controllable ice templating strategy to, to fabricate low-cost cellulose nanocrystals, polyethylene oxide-derived carbon aerogels with hierarchically tailored and vertically aligned channels as electrode materials, which can be utilized to well-tuning the rate capability and cycling stability of sodium and potassium ion batteries. In other words, less battery degradation and more charge cycle. Now, benefiting from the renewability of the precursor and scalability at relatively low cost in the environmentally benign synthesis process, this work could offer an appealing route to promote large scale applications, this is the important part, of sustainable electric vehicles and large scale energy storage grids in the near future. Now, Professor Ike Horn said, in light of these findings, we now hope to collaborate with industries to develop this strategy on an industrial scale and to explore whether this unique technology can be easily extended to a variety of other energy storage systems such as zinc, calcium, aluminium, and magnesium ion batteries, thus demonstrating its universal potential in next generation energy storage systems. What does this mean? Well, basically billions of dollars are being invested now globally worldwide to develop cheaper, more sustainable batteries, which will have a longer life. Now, remember, lithium ion phosphate batteries are currently probably the best energy mechanism battery storage, but CATL hopes to replace those with sodium ion batteries. Now, obviously, this is the kind of technology that said companies like CATL, the world's largest battery company, could use to increase the performance of their sodium ion batteries. And initially, the 30% cost of sodium ion batteries being Initially, sodium batteries being 30% cheaper than lithium ion phosphate batteries will be huge, but eventually due to technologies like these, sodium batteries could even be used in cars and could be up to 50% cheaper than lithium ion phosphate batteries while having significantly higher energy density. Now, obviously it's early days for this, these technologies here that you've seen illustrated. But eventually, I think by 2030, you'll find there'll be some incredible battery technology, which will enable us to have all the batteries we need worldwide for all the energy storage we need and to make as many EVs as we need as well. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.